All right, well, this looks like a little bit of a mess. Let's head back to Appearance, and let's go back to Bartik, our default theme. Click Bartik, set as default, and we have a little bit prettier site to now work with again. And this is what we're used to. In this video, we're going to start to talk about how to lay out the actual elements of our site. We've talked about theming. This gives us the layout, the look, the feel, the block regions that we have available to us, but it doesn't actually manage how each individual node is presented. Head on over to Structure, Content Types, and let's look at the display of our hotel content type. So as you might recall, we have a picture, links, which actually should probably be at the bottom, body, hotel website, phone, map to hotel, landmarks, hotel video, and we disable the slides because we put them in a block. You'll also remember this is the default view, and we had changed our teaser view to better reflect what we wanted to see. But right now, when we go into a hotel node, this is what we see. Grab links and drag that down to the bottom just so it's there. Click Save. But as you can see, it's just field after field after field after field with really no formatting. If I go and look at Hotel Drupal, that's what you're seeing. The image, which is floated left because of the theme, the body, the website, the phone number, the map, and any landmarks, and of course our embedded video that we created earlier. But if I didn't like this, or if I wanted to change the layout of this particular content type, I can't do it with just a theme. There are some fantastic layout modules available to us, and one that's used extensively by Drupal site builders is Display Suite. Head over to drupal.org slash project slash DS, and there's a lot of information here which we're not going to cover, but of course you can look at all the documentation yourself. There is a Drupal 8 version for this. Go ahead and right click. I'm now using Firefox, and so it's copy link location. Come back to my site, extend and install new module. Go ahead and paste that in and install. And again, we could have easily done that with Drush by just saying Drush space DL space DS, and it would have done it for us. Go ahead and enable the newly added modules. Find Display Suite. You'll notice we can't turn any of these on. So here's another reminder. You've got to read the documentation. Right over here on the Display Suite page, layouts are exposed through the Layout plugin and there's a node there on how you can declare your own layout and use it with Display Suite and Panels at the same time. Let's go ahead and click on Layout Plugin and go ahead and install that. It's in Alpha, but it's working with Drupal 8 at this point. Go ahead and copy that link location and install that as well. So scrolling back down to Display Suite now, well, good news, I can turn them on. I also need to turn on the Layout plugin and click Install. And all of my modules have been enabled. In the next video, we'll start to use Display Suite to update all of our displays for our website.